What is going on, guys? My name is Caden Hayward. I'm the CEO of Coach Hayward. We help busy working women permanently lose weight and feel amazing in their skin. So in today's training, what we're going to be going over is weight loss plateaus, what they are, how do we break them? Why do they happen? Now, before we jump into today's training, all I ask is one thing, is that if you take value from this training, if you get something out of this training today, all I ask is that you either share it, you like it, or make sure you subscribe as well. That's all I ask. If you don't get any value out of this, then that's totally fine. You can delete my channel or whatever. That will help you. All right. So let's jump into today's training though. All righty, guys. So how to break your weight loss plateau with Coach Hayward. All right. So first of all, what is it? What is a weight loss plateau? So a weight loss plateau is when you stop losing weight. So when you're on a weight loss journey, and then eventually you just stop seeing the results happen, you stop seeing the scale move, and you you just start consolidating. Okay, so you stay at the same weight, you don't see any results, and it's very, very frustrating for a lot of us. And this is typically when the average person will quit on their journey. Now, research shows that weight loss plateaus don't usually happen to like six months in, but they can really happen at any time, guys. I've seen it happen at all different kind of times. Um, so we're going to jump into that exactly today. So a weight loss plateau can typically last anywhere from like eight to 12 weeks as well, especially if we don't break it properly. So if you guys don't want to wait the eight to 12 weeks, then make sure you pay attention today. Make sure you're taking your notes so we can make sure that we've slammed through these plateaus like that. All right. So that is what a weight loss plateau is, guys. Okay. So when your weight stops moving on the scale and you stop losing weight. Now, how does this happen? Like, why does this happen? So first of all, science doesn't really know why this happens. Like researchers don't actually know why a plateau happens. They do have, um, they do have their studies behind it of what they think the reason for it is, but they don't know why your metabolism slows down. So we know how it happens, but we don't know exactly why it happens. Now they believe all these different theories, but there's no actual conclusion to it. So, which is really cool, by the way. But how it does happen, guys, is that your metabolism will eventually slow down. So as you lose weight, there's, there comes a time where you, if you lose a certain percentage of your weight, your metabolism will also drop like 15%. I don't know the exact number of weight, but I do know the percentage for metabolism. Now, which is crazy. So your metabolism will slow down as you drop weight, which means that eventually your metabolism will kind of match the amount of weight that you're losing. So the amount of caloric deficit that you're in, and that is when a, and that is when a plateau happens. So what that means is that your BMR, so your basal metabolic rate, which I've done multiple trainings on this now, what that is, um, but your BMR will match the caloric deficit that you're in. So if you're consuming 1600 calories and, and you've dropped like, let's say 25 pounds, eventually it will align with that and you'll stay stagnant. You won't see any results, okay? So that's kind of how it happens is that your metabolism slows down. Another way, if you're not doing things properly, like if you're not in a proper caloric deficit and stuff is like starvation mode. And that's just when our, our metabolism crashes, what will happen here? It's like a crash diet. So you'll go and do 800 calories a day. You literally starve yourself or like eat one meal a day, whatever it may be. And you'll see a very quick weight loss happen within like the first week, possibly the first two weeks. And then you kind of start hitting a plateau that quickly after you've lost the 15 pounds or um, however much your body shredded um, as it eats itself away. So that is another approach that we do not want to take when we're in that starvation mode, because then your metabolism just matches it. You eat away at your muscle and it's just much, much more worse. Okay. So that is how it happens though. Okay. Metabolism slows down calories in versus calories out guys. That's how it's done at the end of the day. All right. So the most important part of today's training, now, like I mentioned, this is going to be a quick, pretty quick training today, guys, but how do we break this plateau? Okay. So how do we actually break the plateau once and for all? Now let's jump into it. I have a few points here today. So go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine important points for you guys today. Okay. So let's jump onto them one by one here. So cut the carbs. 
Okay. Research shows by cutting the carbs, it's going to allow you to stay full longer. Okay. It's going to allow you to have more protein in your diet automatically and also more likely to reduce calorie intake. So cut back on the carbs. And this is one thing that I did when I was losing my weight and I've only gotten more toned and I've only gotten better looking as I've lost that extra fat that was on my body. So cutting the carbs is definitely a huge key point here um that being said you don't have to do like keto or nothing like that because usually keto is not really sustainable um but cutting the carbs back will definitely definitely help you okay so number two number two is to exercise Okay, and to make sure you increase your exercise if you already do. So if you don't exercise already, start exercising. You don't have to go, you know, hardcore approach. You can go two times a week, three times a week starting out. Just get up and move your body. Your body wants to move, okay? Now, just make sure you do it in a way that obviously you're not going to get injured and end up at bed rest, okay? So increase that exercise though. It's super, super important. So if you're already working out, increase the frequency, okay? Increase your reps, increase your sets, um, increase your tempo. So that means like, you know, if you're, if you're working out and you're doing a bicep curl and it's like one second up and then one second down, then possibly do two seconds up and then two seconds down. And that way you add more tension on that muscle. As science shows that the more tension that we have behind our muscles, um, the more they will uh, grow, the more muscle fibers that we can break it down and the more we can grow long-term. So make sure you add that time under tension. It's super, super important. I could take, like, let's say, let's say if somebody can bench 300 pounds and they take 135 pounds. So one plate instead of like uh, two, or we'll say 315. So instead of three plates, they put one plate on. If they were to do like 30 seconds all the way down and 30 seconds all the way up, they could only do like um, a lot fewer reps, let's say, than let's say they can do average like 50 reps with it. They could probably do like around 10, 15, like if you do it properly, because it burns so much. So Increase that frequency, guys. Increase your reps. Push yourselves that progressive overload. It will only help you build more strength, build more muscle, and boost your metabolism long term. Okay? So increase the exercise, which will also allow you to burn more calories. Okay? Now, that was a huge one, by the way, increasing exercise. This allowed me to help multiple, multiple women break through their plateaus. Um, you know, any girls who are going through uh, menopause or just trying to lose weight in general, um, plateaus are, might be a thing that you will come across. And the increase in exercise and also another point that I will cover here really made a huge change in that. Okay. And now mind you, most of my clients, they only work out about three times a week um, and then add in that extra movement. Okay. So know your numbers. You got to know your numbers. You got to know where your calories are at. If it, you can do the intuitive approach and you can get there eventually, um, but that takes years of experience to really get there and, and the practice that but it's best just to know your numbers and to know exactly where you're at when it comes to eating calories and your portions and, and everything coming in and also your macros. So that way you can really look at it and be like, okay, well, I'm having 1200 calories a day. I'm not losing weight. So I must be stuck in starvation mode. Like I got to, I got to kind of reverse diet for a bit, increase some activity so then I can drop the weight eventually long term. Now, if you're consuming, you know, 2,200 a day, you're not losing weight. Well, then it's like, okay, well, I should probably drop the calories down a little bit. Like, you know, let's go down to 1,800 and see what that does for me and stick to that consistently um, and then see what that happens for you. So know your numbers though, because it's going to help you in the long run a lot faster, a lot better. And of course, like, unless you have help. Okay. Next is food choices. So make sure you stay away from the refined carbs, okay? You don't want to be over consuming on sugar as well. You don't want to mess with your insulin. Um, you just want to make sure that you're trying to eat healthy as much as possible. So like the 80-20 rule, just do that. Stay away from the fried food as much as possible. Of course, you got to have that balance and still enjoy the things you love, but just make good choices overall. And that's, you have the power to do so. So just take action on that and, and choose to eat eat better and and save those cheat meals for specific days rather than um, not having discipline and, and just going after it all the time okay it's better to build that discipline and, and, and then it feels a lot better when you do have those cheat meals I promise you okay 
Next is protein. Increase the protein. Shot, science shows that if you increase your protein, if you have about 30% protein intake per day when it comes to your like percentages and your macros, then you're way more likely to lose weight and lose weight faster than everybody else. So increase your protein intake, guys. You all know that I love protein and that I always, always preach protein. Okay, so next what we got here is drop your calories down below. This is like the most obvious ones. So that's why you got to know your numbers because you want to drop your calories down. So let's say you're consuming 1800 calories a day and you've lost 20 pounds and now you're not losing any more weight. Well, then drop it down to 1650 calories a day and see what that does for you. So cut off like 150 calories and see what that does for you, because that should allow you to not be in a plateau anymore because your BMR now is at 1600 or sorry, 1800 and you're consuming 1650. So you're in a slight calorie deficit. Now, you might not lose weight as quick now, but you'll still be losing weight as well. Okay. So try that out for a few weeks. All right. Next is lifestyle choices. So this is just everything comes from your sleep, your stress, everything A to Z. Make sure mostly though, this is one I want to make for your sleep. Uh, make sure you're getting your sleep. Okay. It's important to make sure you're sleeping at night that will affect your cortisol levels and everything in between. And my next point, this is one of my favorite ones that really helps a lot of my clients break their plateaus is the steps. Getting your daily steps in is key. My clients, uh, one of them right now, he's they lost like 80 pounds or so, or no, they're, they're at probably like 77 pounds right now as I make this video or 78 pounds down already in like five months. They step a lot. They get a lot of steps in daily. They go on daily walks every single day, sometimes even two plus times a day. They just love to walk. They got a dog as well. So they take advantage of that and they get those steps in and that allows your metabolism to boost and also burn more calories long term, guys. So make sure you get those steps in. Okay, next is make wins, make wins and control your stress. Y'all we got to control our stress because when we, when we see these plateaus happens, the reason why that we, we fail so much is not because it, it, it we're going to be currently stuck like that. It's because we quit. It's because we get doubtful. It's because we get stressed out about the numbers and we have to remove that attachment to the scale. We have to understand that this is just who we are and we have to trust the process to the point where results will come. We just need to stay consistent. If there's one thing I've learned in my life is that consistency is king. It is key. It is queen. It is the best thing ever. And it's magical. We just have to stay consistent and those results will come eventually as long as we're aligned with our path and on the right path as well. Okay. So control that stress and make wins. Focus on some sort of wins. If the scale is not giving you wins, look at your inches, okay? Look at your strength increase. Look at your mental health. Look at your energy levels. Look at how your body's forming. Look at how your muscles are becoming more dense. Whatever it may be, find the wins. So guys, that is how to break your plateau. Some key points on there for y'all. Now remember, this can last for weeks on end. So give it time, okay? Now, lastly, if you need help, okay, if you've been in a plateau, you still don't understand how to break the plateau, or if you're having trouble getting started, or if you just have no idea on what direction to take with your busy life, then girl, reach out to me and I am here to help. You can find the links in the description of this video. You can apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching call. Um, this is just like a breakthrough strategy call to see you know, what you're struggling with, to see what you're going through, and also to see what my process is, just to see if we're a good fit or not, okay? Not everyone's a good fit, but you can click there and you can find out there if you're that serious. Um, next is you can just reach out to me on Instagram, coach.hayward or on Facebook, Coach Hayward to reach out for some help as well. You'll see my face in the profiles. All right, so that is the training note for today, y'all. So if you remember, if you got something out of this video, okay, if you took something from this that was very valuable and that's gonna help you on your journey, all I ask is that you like, subscribe, and if so, 
share it to a friend who is in need, who is struggling with their body issues. If, if you yourself don't need help and you're just here learning, then share this with someone who might need help because we don't want to see people struggle. The last thing I want to do is see people struggle in their own bodies. That is why I do what I do because I hate seeing people struggle and be in pain. And this video can really help them understand, you know, that these plateaus are normal. They happen and that you can break them and you don't have to give up. You just have to keep going, understand the process a little bit more and you'll get there for sure. Okay. So I that, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all took something amazing from this. And I that y'all have an amazing, amazing day today. And I'll see you on the next training.